What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today we have another WWE Elite Figure Review on the Retro Fest GameStop exclusive Macho Man Randy Savage. <laughs> So yesterday, ladies and gentlemen, I was at GameStop and I had no idea that I would find this thing. You know, I had seen it popping up around and I was like, you know what, I'm just going to go to GameStop and I'm going to check it out and bam, walla boosh, guys, we found the Retro Fest GameStop exclusive Macho Man Randy Savage. I am absolutely loving this packaging. I think it looks absolutely sick. The freaking, uh, you know, the old uh, arcade game machine looking freaking great. You got little buttons right here. You got the nameplate there. Even if you zoom in right here, you can see that it even has like the coin slots on the front there with the 25 cent on there. If we turn it around, you'll see a picture of Macho Man on the side and on the back. We get some info like it was an old wrestling game on an arcade machine. That's just so sick. He got all his uh, accolades and stuff on there. Not accolades, but you know what I mean. Where he's from, his height, his weight, signature moves, uh, old WWE logo there. Another shot of Macho Man on the side. And just a freaking fantastic piece, man. I absolutely love this. And I actually found out you cannot uh, get Shawn Michaels. I thought that Shawn Michaels and Macho Man were releasing at the same time. Come to find out that Shawn Michaels won't be released until August or September. I think he said so that's interesting enough to find out so you can actually go over there and pre-order it at GameStop if you want to pre uh, pick up the Shawn Michaels that thing looks beautiful but for now we got Macho Man guys so let's go ahead and pop him out of his packaging Here we have the Macho Man out of the packaging. Yeah, that that's terrible, guys. Don't don't do Macho Man impressions. But uh, here we have Macho Man out of the packaging, guys. And I did the research on it, and this is actually an attire from the early '90s. He wore this on Monday Night Raw a few times. I believe it was around '92, '93, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, that's all I could find on it. You know, I obviously wasn't alive yet. I was born in '96, so uh, that is the thing. But I think this figure looks fantastic, guys. I always love America attires. You know, patriotism and all that good jazz. The red white and blue always looks good especially on macho man as we spin him around here uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a look at his accessories that he comes with then we're gonna take a closer look at macho man get into some comparisons and then we'll wrap this thing up all right guys so taking a closer look at macho man's accessories right here we have his little entrance vest jacket here with the uh, little tassels on the end here got the big white star in the middle blue little stuff and then white and red tassels this is made of the soft rubber material it's not very hard so it actually will probably allow for some articulation you know it's pretty stretchy and stuff so that is cool um, obviously I would have preferred cloth but I like this a lot better than the long sleeve jackets that are rubber so his arms aren't just stuck out wide. So you can actually pose him with this. So that's that's an upgrade there. Of course, we have his uh, red, white, and blue cowboy-esque hat right here. Got the stars on there, stripes and blue in there. Really like this hat. You know, I'm, I think I want to stick this on Zack Ryder, see what that looks like with the new Elite 59 Zack Ryder or uh, Kurt Angle. Maybe we can do something with that. Um, and then, of course, you have his glasses here. And, you know, we've seen similar molds to this with the Elite 59 Zack Ryder. I want to look at that, see if they're, uh, you know, exactly like it. But we will take a closer look. But that pretty much does it for his accessories. You know, you get his hat, his glasses, and his rubber shirt. Three total accessories. So taking a closer look at the Macho Man figure, guys, we have seen this head scan before. I don't know exactly which uh, Macho Man figures we've seen this, but I'm pretty sure that this isn't a new head scan. If it is, I think it's damn accurate, but I'm pretty sure it's not a new head scan. I like it, though. It does resemble Macho Man pretty well. One thing that I did notice, though, is they actually gave this the uh, Seth Rollins skin tone instead of that Dolph Ziggler and, you know, Triple H skin tone. They went with a lighter skin tone, so I don't know uh, why they did that. I don't know if that was a mistake, but it is uh, actually uh, lighter, and you guys will see that when we get to the comparisons. If we go down here into the pants, we got the red and white striped tights. I wish they would have added some blue in there. Obviously, Mattel can't because th that wouldn't be accurate. But uh, Macho Man, he should have uh, added some blue in here. I think that would have looked way better, in my opinion. But uh, I still dig the red and white stripes going all the way down. My favorite part of the attire has to be the boots right here, guys. You know how I am. I'm a shoe fanatic. I'm a wrestling boot fanatic. This is my favorite part of most guys' attires. The boots right here have the blue stripes. says USA. Got some red laces with the white boots. And then, of course, on the inside, you have another blue stripe with white stars. And I think that's freaking sweet. Um, I believe that on the official attire, though, I think this one said macho on it. So I don't know if it was like a different attire. He had maybe some two different pairs of boots. I'm not exactly sure, but uh, that does it for the Macho Man figure. So now let's go ahead and take a look at some Macho Man comparisons. 
And honestly, guys, it kind of sucks because I actually used to have all of the Macho Men, and then I was like, I don't need all these Macho Men, and I started trading and selling and stuff, and now I wish I had more. Uh, I need to track them all down. There are quite the many. I believe there's over 10, so that is pretty impressive. You know, we have Elite 38. We got a couple defining moments. Elite 23. We got the Ringside Exclusive, the other Ringside Exclusive. So there's a ton of Macho Man Elites out there, and I don't think they ever disappoint. You know, Macho Man's very iconic and stuff. But now that we have these comparisons, uh, you guys can see what I'm talking about with the skin tones right there. Um, this is darker skin tone, and I don't think... Uh, I like the darker one better. I think it, uh, you know, better represents Macho Man. I think that, you know, he was dark, so I think that it works better for him to use the darker skin tone but it doesn't look bad you know the light one doesn't look bad you know it's only the first one that's done this i believe i can't uh remember another macho man that doesn't have the darker skin tone i could be wrong but uh let's take a closer look at some other comparisons and here we have the new macho man up next to some other america inspired attires we got zack Ryder on the left the Elite 59 Kurt Angle right here, and then the Walmart exclusive SummerSlam build, a set, whatever thing, Ultimate Warrior. Uh, I am loving this. You know, I popped the hat there on Kurt Angle. I think that looks hilarious. Uh, I, I do notice, though, look at these glasses, that Zack Ryder's glasses were totally inspired by Macho Man. Um, you can obviously see the uh, resemblance there in the shades. I actually put the Macho Man glasses on Zack Ryder, and it looked 100 times better, and they fit the Zack Ryder figure better than the Zack Ryder glasses fit his figure. So uh, that's something to take note of. But um, I don't have my DM Sting Great American Bash to throw up here. I wish I did so I could complete them all so they'd all look, you know, uniform. But uh, this is all of the American figures. But that is going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching this WWE Elite figure review. I definitely do recommend this Macho Man figure. Go to your GameStop and check if they have it. I think that it is definitely worth a pickup. If you don't have a Macho Man or you collect flashbacks, you definitely need to grab this thing. If you're a mock collector, I think it's an absolute must. I love the packaging. Probably some of my favorite packaging that Mattel has ever given us with this Elite figure line. I cannot wait to get the Shawn Michaels. You can actually go pre-order it, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video. Go over to GameStop, pre-order that thing, because I cannot wait to get my hands on that rocker, Shawn Michaels. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. Leave a like. Comment down below what you think of this new Macho Man. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter, at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.